Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. I am a 44 year old single person currently living in the Northern Virginia area. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping back by. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to go over my cash envelopes and sinking funds and this is going to be for the week of July 5th. Okay, let me go ahead and count my money and show you guys what we're working with. And this is going to be for one week. All right, so 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 30, 40, 141, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 145 is what we're starting with. Let me go ahead and put my money up over here. Okay, let's start with the categories that I keep in my wallet. Uh, first on the stack here is donations, and donations is going to get $5. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so donations. Next is groceries and toiletries and household. So my budget is $50 per week for food and then $10 a week for toiletries and household. So a total of $60. So that is for groceries. Next is gas for my car. That will get $20. Okay, and that is everything that will stay in my wallet. Um, now, I did make a change here in the last couple of weeks. My Fur Babies Food and Litter Fund, which is $25 per week, is in a Capital One 360 account. All right, so let's move on to my sinking funds. I'm getting pretty down, low down on the page here, so let me scooch this up so you guys can see it. All right, so the first is car maintenance, and car maintenance will get $30, and that will give me $230. And I'm just going to write that this is a deposit, and today is July, we'll write the 5th. Um, and let's see here. So that is $30. So 10, 20, and 30. And that is car maintenance. Okay, so that is 150, 70, 90, 200, 10, 20, and 30. And you know what, I'm gonna swap out these 10s for the 20s in my groceries budget. That way I'd have larger bills in the sinking funds. All right, so that is for car maintenance. Next is uh, car insurance. And if you guys are wondering what I'm using, this is an Adams two column ledger and I use this to record my sinking funds. Any money that goes in and out of any of my envelopes, I record in this uh, book here. And then the cash envelopes that I'm using is from an Etsy, Etsy shop, uh, Sierra Crafts, and everything is linked down at the bottom. Okay, next is car insurance, and car insurance will get 20, and that'll give me 560. And we'll just write that it is a deposit. And there's 20. And that's car insurance. And let me grab 20 from gas. I probably should have done this earlier. Swapped this money out, but take 20 from gas and put the 10s in here. Okay, so car insurance should have 560. 
And I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 20, 40, and 60. And I think I am going to deposit this money probably before my next paycheck because that I think my car insurance is going to be due before my next check. So that should be plenty for my premium. All right, next is car taxes and tags. I'm not contributing any money to this fund. I should have $40 and I do. I have an old car, it's a 2006 Honda Civic. Taxes and tags are really cheap on that car and I think $40 is enough. Uh, next is fur babies and this is for their shots and their nail trims and that will get $10. And so it's 210. And 210 I grab that envelope here. Ten for fur babies. So that is 150, 70, 90, 200, and 210. And that is fur baby shots. Next is renter's insurance. I'm not going to be contributing to this because I believe I have enough money in this fund. There's 120. And that's what I have in my book, which is good. Uh, let's see. Next is clothes. And there's no money in that fund, and I'm not contributing. Next is beauty. And beauty has $30. And it does. Next is gifts, should have $40, and I do. Last is medical, dental, and vision, and this should have 50 in it, and it does. So that, my friends, is my sinking funds and my cash envelopes. This is for the week of July the 5th. I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.